Early 2008 and the Paris-Dakar rally is cancelled due to security concerns and replaced by three rallies in Europe. The season kicks off with the Central Europe rally in Hungary and Romania. This is the first of the newly created Dakar series, which continues later in the year with the second event in Spain and Portugal. The starting point is Budapest. The Central Europe rally begins in the Hungarian capital and lasts for seven stages, covering 2,671 kilometers to Baia Mare in Romania and back to Lake Balaton. 1,092 of those kilometers are special stages. Here in Hungary, all the Dakar favorites are at the starting line. Uh, we expect a tough race, a uh, lot of competitors. Same than in Dakar. Everybody's here, all the Michus, all the BMWs. All the Volkswagen team. Competitor team Mitsubishi, with a record number of Dakar wins, is introducing a Pajero Evo diesel. Three other Pajeros have seasoned and perfected 300 horsepower petrol engines. These will be driven by record Dakar winner Stefan Peter Hansel and former World Cup skiing champion Luc Alphonse. Volkswagen sent their entire Dakar team with four Volkswagen Touaregs, Geniel de Villiers and Dirk Sitzewitz, two-time World Rally Champion Carlos Sainz, former German Rally Champion Dieter Depping and Mark Miller from the USA. On the the inside favorites are the BMW X-Raid team from Trebur in Hessen with a possible winning candidate and Nasa al Atiyah from Qatar. Yes, uh, we prepare good to prepare for this race and uh, we have uh, uh, testing here, you know, for one day and uh, I'm quite happy. Uh, I hope uh, we have a good result. We came for actually this race, uh, win the race and uh, we try to do our best. The race to Areg 2, resilient and strong. A 280 horsepower diesel engine and 600 newton meters of torque takes Carlos Sainz quickly into the lead. The battle for the top spot is spectacular, particularly with Robbie Gordon's amazingly agile race hummer. But three-time Dakar winner Peter Hansel also gives the Volkswagens a tough head-to-head -to -head race. A competition debut for Dieter Depping of Germany. The three-time German rally champion, circuit driver and motor mechanic is multi-talented and his performance is surprisingly composed. The Volkswagen Works driver wins the second stage and takes a sensational third place overall, a bold premier. I'm overjoyed. I was able to keep the speed up reasonably thanks to my co-driver who was a great navigator. Compliments to the team. They arranged such a great car for me so I was able to drive well. Another favorite is South African Geniel de Villiers and his German co-driver Dirk von Sitzewitz. After their win in the third stage, the pair are lying in second place behind Stefan Peter Hansel. But on stage four, disaster strikes. A horrific accident with the car rolling several times ends their rally prematurely. Fortunately, both drivers escaped with only light injuries. No, but we, we, we have to look to the future. You know, these things happen and um, unfortunately it happened to us now. But, uh, you know, we still got two other cars in the race and uh, hopefully they can, they can finish in a good position. Doubly bitter, before the accident, de Villiers and Sitzewitz were in the lead. The most important thing of all is that everyone's in good health. Neither of them are injured, which shows how good the race Tuareg is. When an accident puts you out of a race, that's life. We have to accept it. Overall, though, we're happy. The cars are competitive. Carlos Sainz has a three-second lead on Peter Hansel, and Dieter Depping is directly behind. Wir sind jetzt wieder dran, beziehungsweise Carlos Sainz führt mit drei Sekunden von Peter Hansel und Dieter ist direkt dahinter. 
It's a duel for first place. Three seconds difference between Peter Hansel and Seinch is nothing. But after 155 kilometers on the last stage, the Frenchman can't steal the lead and takes second place. Carlos Sainz takes the title for the Central Europe Rally with four stage wins out of a possible seven. This is an impressive showing. The lead at the end has increased to two minutes ahead of Peter Hansel. Yeah, it's really, I'm really happy for the team, for myself, for myself. It has been really a long week and a hard, hard week, especially after the problems in second day. We thought everything finished, but then since there has been really flat out every single kilometer until until today. So I think it has been worth to, to try straight away after when we lost, we, we said now we have to go maximum and, and it was worth to do it. Volkswagen takes six of the seven day wins. And what about BMW? Frenchman Bruno Sabi, since withdrawn from the contest, came sixth in the overall rankings in one of the X-Raid team's BMW X3s. The end of May 2008 in Portugal, the Transiberico rally is imminent and BMW plans to perform better with its five teams. The chances are good because the Volkswagen team is not among the starting lineup. The complete distance from Portugal to Spain and back is 2,700 kilometers, with special stages counting for 1,300 of those. Okay, it will be long, but uh, you know, everybody is here, you know, the Mitsubishi, except uh, the Volkswagen not here. But uh, we, I hope, uh, have a good result and good to prepare for uh, next race in Brazil. This makes Mitsubishi the only serious competitor, and they are using their diesel-fueled Pajero Evo for the first time. A familiar face for Mitsubishi is Sven Quant, team leader for the Japanese between 2002 and 2004, and now head of the BMW X-Raid team and full of confidence in the X3's strengths. At the moment, on easier rally stretches where the chassis plays an important role, we're on top. In tough off-road terrain, we're still at a disadvantage. We're not quite there yet. That's the difficult thing about development. The right chassis is a compromise between two things, ones that's excellent on good tracks and one that's excellent on bad tracks. It makes things difficult because then the car suffers so much body roll sehr schlechten Piste auch und das macht es sehr schwierig, weil das Fahrzeug sofort sehr starkes Bodyroll bekommt. Since the tracks of the Transiberico Rally are similar to those of the 2009 Dakar Rally in South America, the race against the clock through Portugal and Spain serves as a good test for the Dakar. The best BMW team is Nasa Latia and his co-driver Tina Turner from Sweden. Right at the start of the round trip, bad luck hits and they damage the roof. Though dented, they're able to drive on after a rollover, but during repairs they eventually take off the entire roof, almost making a new X3 cabriolet. Tina Turner remains completely unperturbed. Oh, you know, I'm 42. I've done about 20 years of racing, not rallying, and uh, this has happened a lot of time. Um, no, it was definitely not scary when things like this happen, you know. That's why we are here. We are, want to improve the car and do the best out of it. Yeah, it's good that it happens on the places where it's not so bad. So we had a quick roll, landed on the wheels, put in the first gear, continue, but without no brakes to the finish. But we are here, and yeah, you know, it's still three days to go. Without a roof, the car is lighter. Every day, Turner and Atia drive more quickly and catch up in the overall rankings. Right out ahead, however, is the Mitsubishi team. Former competitive skier Luc Alphon has a lead of more than half an hour over his pursuers, with the whole day still to go. With a win on the first special stage and second place in the second last stage, the BMW team pushes into second place overall. First place at the Transiberico, however, goes to Mitsubishi with French driver Luc Alphon. Second is taken by the BMW X-Raid team after a great catch-up. There's not much to say about the Rally des Certos in Brazil. Volkswagen has no competition since the BMW and Mitsubishi teams aren't even at the start line. 
This leaves the way clear for Tuareg driver Genial de Villiers and co-driver Dirk von Sitzewitz. After 4,500 kilometers, they win with a three-hour lead over their teammates Miller and Pitchford. The overall win gives the Tuareg a total of nine rally victories since 2004. September 2008 in Lisbon. The PAX rally is the second rally in the Dakar series and this time is once again filled with the top names. Volkswagen has entered along with BMW and Mitsubishi, making the PAX rally the last important comparison of the big teams for 2008. Portugal is the last competitive appearance for the Mitsubishi Pajero after many successful years. The car that won the Dakar 12 times is replaced by the new Racing Lancer model in autumn 2008. In total, the rally consists of around 1,000 kilometers of special stages over five days. After achieving the best times on stages two and four, Stefan Peter Hansel climbs to second place. During the fifth stage, Peter Hansel turns the small lag of 31 seconds behind Carlos Sainz into a 16-second lead, helped by his Spanish rival's rollover. Sainz is able to continue, but the victory looks highly uncertain. I don't know the end of the race, but so it was a very good race. The BMW X-Raid team is also fighting for top places. In the end, Alatia and Tina Turner, in fifth place overall, were in the lead for only five and a half minutes after 1,000 kilometers. Carlos Sainz needs only a few seconds, but is unable to catch up with Peter Hansel and his Mitsubishi due to an accident. Well, actually, the rally was going quite well. It has been a very close event with uh, Mitsubishi and BMW. Everything was running quite quite well until 16 kilometers to the end where I was not very concentrated in one corner and we just had small roll and, and lost a little bit of time. Unfortunately as well, uh, the stage of today, the first part did not count and, and that's why we lost. The win goes to Mitsubishi and Frenchman Stefan Peter Hansel at the wheel of the Pajero Evolution for the last time. This makes Mitsubishi once again the favorite for the 2009 Dakar. The Desert Challenge in October 2008 in Dubai, the last race of the season. Volkswagen and Mitsubishi are conspicuous by their absence, a great opportunity for BMW driver Alatia, who can now win the FIA Marathon Rally World Cup without competition. And that is exactly what happens. The X-ray driver from Qatar wins the race by an enormous margin of four hours. The end of the 2008 rally season leaves the outcome of the subsequent Dakar more uncertain than ever, with BMW and Volkswagen closing the gap with Mitsubishi to guarantee excitement in South America in January 2009.